Picture a world where people could regain their sight and hearing or never struggle to remember a name, face, or important date. Imagine being able to enhance the brain's natural power to store memories and fine-tune our senses. It may sound like something out of a sci-fi novel, but Elon Musk and his team at Neuralink are working to make this a reality. This could be the future of humanity, or is it just a far-fetched fantasy? Let's dive deeper into Neuralink and find out. Neuralink Building a Revolutionary Brain-Computer Interface Have you ever imagined being able to control your computer with just your thoughts? It may seem like science fiction, but Neuralink is making this a reality. Neuralink is a company that's focused on building a type of brain-computer interface, or BCI, which can read and interpret the signals given off by the neurons firing away in our brains. The History of Brain-Computer Interfaces the concept of BCI research dates back to 1924, when Hans Berger, a German psychiatrist, used EEG to record human brain activity. It's a process that uses electrodes to measure the electrical activity of the brain. Initially, Berger inserted wires under the patient's scalp to make the recording, which must have been quite uncomfortable for the patient. Later, silver foils were attached to the outside of the head, making the process more bearable. The term BCI wasn't coined until 1973 by UCLA professor Jacques Vidal. In 1977 experiments, he used an EEG to control an object on a computer screen and move it around a maze. Since then, there have been numerous advancements in BCI research. For example, researchers have been able to map motor cortex neurons to control a robotic arm, which was demonstrated in the 80s with monkeys. In the late 1990s, researchers at the University of California, Berkeley, were able to reproduce images seen by cats by deciphering their neuron activity. The Advancements of Brain-Computer Interfaces In the early 2000s, 16 patients received a second-generation visual cortex electrode implant to partially restore the ability to see shades of light. With such advancements, it's no surprise that so many people are excited about BCI research. There are three basic forms of BCI, invasive, partially invasive, and non-invasive. Invasive BCI involves electrode implants that are attached to the visual cortex. Partially invasive BCI involves an implant that's based inside the skull, but rests outside the brain and doesn't intrude into it. Non-invasive BCI, such as the EEG, that attaches to the outside of the scalp, is the least invasive form. Neuralink and Invasive BCI On that scale, Neuralink would be considered invasive. The company aims to build an interface that can read and interpret the signals given off by the neurons firing away in our brains. While invasive BCI may sound daunting, it has the potential to offer significant benefits to people with disabilities. For example, people who have lost limbs may be able to control prosthetics with their thoughts, and people with paralysis may be able to regain some mobility. Neuralink, how it works and what it can do. Have you ever wondered how Neuralink works? It all starts with Neuralinks, a sealed device about 23 millimeters in diameter and eight millimeters tall. Inside is a computer that processes, stimulates, and transmits neural signals. But what's really impressive is the series of neural threads that extend from the coin-shaped link. These threads contain multiple probes and electrodes that are carefully threaded into the brain, allowing for a far more accurate reading of the brain activity than a non-invasive approach. A stadium analogy. To understand this better, think of the brain as a stadium where each seat is a neuron firing off and making noise. An EEG is like being outside the stadium trying to understand what's going on with the game inside. You can only really tell if a team scored or something exciting happened. But if you move inside the stadium, the voices become clearer, and you can start to make more sense of the play-by-play. Move even closer and you can eventually ask a specific neuron what they think of the game. Tracking Orientation, Temperature, and Pressure 
Built into the Neuralink system is the ability to track things like orientation, temperature, and pressure. It's like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires, according to Elon Musk. The rationale behind collecting all this extra data beyond just what the neurons are doing is the combination of all that collected data will someday unlock the ability to predict early signs of dangerous conditions, like a stroke or heart attack. Charging inductively. Neuralink can also charge inductively, making it easy to top off the charge every day without physical wires needing to be hooked through the body. But what's truly amazing is how they installed the link. They designed a robot that can complete the very delicate threading procedure, as the small size and detailed work needed is more than a human can pull off reliably. The ultimate goal is an automated surgery that can happen in less than an hour. The delicate procedure. The actual procedure entails opening a small flap of your scalp, drilling a small hole through the skull, threading the electrodes, and inserting the link to fill the hole. After sealing the flap of skin, there's no sign that you've had the procedure done at all. It's clear that Neuralink is an incredibly innovative and exciting technology with the potential to revolutionize how we understand and interact with the brain. Neuralink's impressive demonstration with pigs. Last year, Neuralink, the brain machine interface company founded by Elon Musk, held an impressive demonstration where they showcased the capabilities of their technology. They brought out a couple of pigs, one with an active Neuralink and the other with one removed to demonstrate the safety of their product. Real-time audio signals from neural firing. The Neuralink in the active pig was connected to the neurons that controlled the snout. And this allowed the researchers to play real-time audio signals to represent the data that they were reading from the firing neurons. On the screen, each of the spikes from the 1,024 electrodes was visible. The pig's movements, such as shuffling around touching its nose on the ground, or eating food resulted in an increase in the firing neurons. Potential Applications for People with Paralysis Neuralink's technology also demonstrated the ability to predict the location of the pig's limbs by interpreting the neural data that the link was receiving with high accuracy. This breakthrough could have far-reaching implications for people with paralysis, as it could potentially help restore movement by reading and understanding their intentions for moving a limb. Capable of triggering neurons. The demonstration wasn't just about reading data, as Neuralink also showed that each data channel is capable of triggering or writing neurons by giving off an electrical charge. This breakthrough could have implications for treating numerous disorders. Safe and easy to install. Neuralink's presentation not only highlighted the capabilities of their product, but also their product design methodology. They have created a system that is safe and easy to install, unnoticeable when worn, and safe to remove and upgrade later. Neuralink's impressive tech, limitations and potential. While Neuralink's technology is impressive, it's important to emphasize what it's not. It's not a cure-all for neurological disorders, and it's not a mind-reading device. The technology is still in its infancy, and there's still a lot of work to be done. However, the breakthroughs demonstrated in the pig experiment are significant, and they're a step towards a future where people with neurological disorders can have more control over their bodies. Goal, to help those with paralysis and injury. Neuralink's initial goal is to use the tech to help those with paralysis and injury gain some independence back. Imagine being able to think about typing out a message on your phone and it just happens. Or think what you want to do on your computer and it just happens, like telepathy. This technology has a direct link back to the research that was done earlier. The ultimate goal is to help people with visual, auditory, or motor control issues. Neuralink isn't alone. But Neuralink isn't alone in this field by any stretch. There are companies like Paradromics in Austin, Texas, that are also trying to help people with conditions like paralysis or blindness. Or Neurable, which is a Boston-based startup that's focusing on EEG-style devices to control computer interfaces with a set of brain-sensing consumer headphones. An even more direct competitor to Neuralink is BIOS from the UK, 
which is a smaller implant technology that helps enhance and improve different health conditions. Neuralink, a company with a different approach and vision. What sets Neuralink apart from other companies in its field is its unique approach and vision. Much like other companies under Elon Musk's umbrella, Neuralink operates with a bit of controlled chaos. It has an engineering-focused, first principles thinking, which pushes the team to deliver on accelerated timelines and push the envelope. However, this approach reportedly created some internal strife, especially with those who prefer a methodological scientific research approach, addressing criticisms and highlighting advancements. After Neuralink's last public event, critics accused the company of overselling what's possible. The MIT Technology Review went as far as calling it neuroscience theater, stating that none of what they saw proposed for the future is doable yet, and that what Neuralink did show wasn't groundbreaking in the realm of BCI research. While the criticisms weren't necessarily wrong, they missed some of the nuances of the presentation. Elon Musk stated multiple times that the event was a recruiting tool to attract more researchers, doctors, and engineers to join the team. It wasn't meant as a demo for the public to get excited about getting one implanted into their heads tomorrow. Elon also made comparisons to other consumer products, highlighting that Neuralink has over 100 times more data channels than the next best consumer device. Balancing expectations and progress in Neuralink's product development. It's important to note that going from research to product is a huge leap, especially in the medical field. What Neuralink is attempting to do by bringing a product to market from the lab is a Herculean task. It's still years, if not decades, away from achieving its aspirational goals. On the flip side, some voices were very impressed by Neuralink's presentation. Dr. Tenor Ramesh, a non-clinical lecturer in the Department of Neuroscience at the University of Sheffield, was amazed by the rapid progress in the device architecture, enabling seamless prototypes in pigs. Professor Andrew Jackson, a professor of neural interfaces at Newcastle University, praised the electronics to relay them wirelessly as state-of-the-art, and the robotic implementation is nice. Elon Musk's Neuralink seeks human testing. Elon Musk has announced that his company Neuralink is seeking government approval to test a brain implant in humans next year. In a presentation, two monkeys were reportedly moving computer cursors with their brains using the Neuralink implant. However, experts in the field have questioned whether the demonstration show major progress with the device. And the company does not yet have approval from the Food and Drug Administration to sell the device. Neuralink's engineering work is an important advance, but the results shown by the company were not as important, according to experts in the field. Mr. Musk said that the company had submitted most of its paperwork to the agency to seek permission to implant its device in a human. He predicted a test in humans in six months, but any step toward trials in people would be up to the FDA after a full evaluation of the risks of surgical implantation and safety of the device. Awe-inspiring potential. We're at the very beginning of the journey towards mapping the human brain, and Neuralink's goal of causing diseases and disabilities is awe-inspiring. While the company may not be revolutionizing specific BCI research yet, it's tackling the engineering feat of making it a reality. However, some of what could be potential down the road is as terrifying as it is amazing. Imagine being able to offload or load memories that aren't even our own. And there you have it, an in-depth exploration of the groundbreaking technology being developed by Neuralink. From the history of brain-computer interfaces to the impressive demonstration with pigs, we've seen the incredible potential this technology holds for the future of humanity. While there are still limitations and obstacles to overcome, the engineering focus approach of Neuralink and its unique vision have set it apart from other companies in the field. It's an awe-inspiring journey towards merging human brains with technology. And only time will tell what amazing advancements it will bring. Thank you for joining us on this exploration, and we look forward to bringing you more exciting updates in the future.